Uh, well, I play uh, the role of Edwin Jarvis, who, if you're a Marvel fan at all, if you've seen any of the Iron Man films, Jarvis may ring a bell. He's the, the AI system that is inside Iron Man's suit, uh, voiced by Paul Bettany. And so the, the mythology behind that is that Tony Stark's father, Howard Stark, had a butler called Jarvis, which is me. And when Tony Stark was born, Jarvis was quite instrumental in bringing him up. And then after he died, when Tony Stark makes the Iron Man suit, he puts Jarvis in there. So that's how I've come to be involved. <laughs> You're the prequel to some software. Yeah, <laughs> that's one way of looking at it, right. <laughs> it's a really fun um, character because of the dynamic between you and Carter, obviously. Right. Uh, it's, uh, this is a bit of the, the, the Batman... Uh, but yeah, it's not, it's not enough. It's the Alfred thing. Well, I, you know, that was actually something I was eager to n not get into because obviously they do their own thing. Yeah. Uh, when I spoke to the, you know the creators right at the beginning of the process, I asked them, "Well, what, so what's the difference with this with this guy?" And they mm -hmm. said, "Oh, he goes on the missions." And I thought, "Oh wow, he doesn't just wait at home yeah. and sew people up, although he does that as well. But right. he actually is involved." Yes. Which is really good fun because, you know, he's maybe not the world's greatest uh, spy yeah. or he's not really the world's greatest action hero, except for in his head, actually. I think yeah. in his head he might be. Yeah. I think in his head he's like... I think it's an excellent idea because also you get more of that relationship, which is... Well, I think you get right? to, you reveal a lot about Peggy in those moments because she can't obviously talk to her SSR co-workers right. because they don't even see her. Yeah. Uh, so she's got this one man in her life that she is able to confide in, yeah. that she is able to really talk to. Yeah. She's a bit um, curt at the beginning there, right? He's having a bit of a hey, hard look, they time, have, right? they, 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 have a, they have a journey to go on, because you got to. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know that's coming, because he's just starting out. But right. um, So that's what you, a lot of what you anticipate uh, as a viewer. I, yeah, I mean, we look, we hopefully, we, there, is, there are shades, it's not it is, it, as it can't be. It's not as it sets out right at the beginning. It's sort of, we go, yeah. we, we, we weave our way through to finding out who they really are in terms of what sort of relationship yeah. they have. That duo is fun also because it turns on its head, the, what you, you know, the usual secretary, you know, boss thing, it's reversed, right? Right, right. It's, which is, is a lot of fun. Well, it's a lot of fun, but I, not least because it feels like something new. You know, you feel like you're, you're plowing a new furrow, and so that's always very exciting because there's not a great amount of comparison. You don't think, oh, well, what if it's like that or that or that yeah, or that, yeah. you know? And uh, Anne Haley and I get on extremely well together as human beings. So Good the day. script imitates real life, life real life yeah. imitates the script. I don't know quite, you know, it's, we, have, we have a really a good time messing around and then getting paid for it. Also looks super beautiful, the 40s. That, I mean, the whole period is just yeah. there, right? Yeah, we have an amazing director of photography. He puts, uh, I'm not joking, he takes 1940s Dior silk stockings and puts them on the back of the lens. Really? <laughs> to make them look like that. Yeah. To make it look so spectacular. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it doesn't hurt that Haley does look spectacular at any time of day or night, all but you know. They all look good. Um, being part of uh, the Marvel Universe, do you get a sense you're part of some larger? <laughs> you know, I know what I'm supposed to say here, and, uh, uh, and it is what I really want to say, which is they feel honestly like a family. Mm. They're very, very smart people. They know exactly what they're doing. They know what they know who their audience are. They know how to find their audience, and they're extremely nice about it. There's no, you don't. Feel, there's no competition. There's no. There's no kind of power games taking place. It's just welcome. It's just welcome. Please come and be part of our world. We're so pleased to have you. So it's a joy to be a part of it. 